My name is Radhi Kumar. I'm a medical student from the University of St. Andrews in the UK. And I'm working with the Asabir Foundation, which is a very generous, very noble, um, cost-supporting organization that aims to bridge gaps between health and education. So what we're doing here today is offering Save a Child's Life workshops. And that's never been done in Ghana before. Uh, never before have we had um, such a large-scale pediatric training for students, teachers, children, um, and caregivers so what we do in our workshops is we train them we train them to respond to medical emergencies so for example what do you do if someone is unconscious if someone is bleeding uh, if someone has a fracture how do you respond in the situations what do you do if someone is choking um, so we want to give we want to give them the skills and the knowledge to respond to those situations um, and the reason it's particularly important in Ghana is because um, is because we have over six million children experiencing first aid accidents or emergencies but only six percent of people in Ghana only six percent of caregivers in Ghana are exposed to first aid training so what we have is we have a lot a lot of accidents but very very little training um, that's being given so our organization the Asabir Foundation um, as well as international organizations like Laidlaw Foundation and Millie Strauss we've, we've come together internationally to bridge this gap to give the locals in both rural areas as well as the urban areas of Ghana the, the opportunity to know what to do, to know how to respond in this situation. So I think there, there, that's twofold, right? The first thing is I hope that uh, we can pass this message on to the to the government of Ghana, as well as uh, as well as other organisations in Ghana, to to highlight how important this cause is, how important it is that we support first aid training and we prepare people to respond to medical emergencies. So I think the first thing we're doing is trying to send a message to to everyone in charge, everyone with resources, to understand how important how important this is for us to support. Um, and I'd say the second thing we hope to do is we hope that through our videos, through our media, uh, we can really show them what it means to be educated by first aid. And and hopefully sometime in the future, we, we, we're waiting to hear some good news. We're waiting to hear that, uh, you know, our training helps someone help save a life. So I think I think it's about it's 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 as simple as this they currently don't have any formal training as soon as they get formal training they understand oh so i should not apply ginger when i'm injured or i should you know i should i should only apply water pat it dry and put a plaster when i'm injured so what it's doing is it's correcting some of the myths that they already have and so I'm hoping that through my medical education, I can impart it to them. I can educate them and help them understand that there are certain simple steps they can take in order to protect and keep themselves safe. Who are the, who are the partners in this uh, education um, that you are taking through Ghana? So, so this uh, Save a Child's Life workshop is supported by Asabir Foundation. They have been incredibly generous and supportive in making this a possibility. I would say it's, it would have been impossible to to undertake this in, in both urban and rural Ghana without the Asabir Foundation. Uh, we also want to thank Laidlaw Foundation, which is an international organization focused on educating and empowering children. And uh, lastly, Millie's Trust. Millie's Trust is based in the UK and they are focused on educating our people in pediatric first aid. So really want to thank everyone for all the support they've offered us because it would not have been possible without you.